Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today, we'll be reviewing Transformers, Earthrise, Thundercracker, and Skywarp. And I finally got these for my collection, and I'm finally happy to have them. Before we look at the figures themselves, we're going to look at the packaging. We got some nice box artwork. Transformers Earthrise. War for Tri Cybertron Trilogy. Thundercracker Skywarp. Cybertronian Villains. 8 Plus, Hasbro, Transformers, Gen Autobot, Insignia, Generations, Takara, Tomy. So we got some nice artwork of Thundercracker and Skywarp taken off. Some nice artwork on the box. Got a product shot of Thundercracker and Skywarp in their robot modes and jet modes. And bios, if you want to read them. And that's all there is to say for the packaging. Let's get down to the figures themselves, shall we? Let's. Thundercracker is really well painted and really well sculpted. And I just love how well they did these. Not bad for a Generation 1 style jet. Same goes for Skywarp. He looks very amazing and very awesome. So glad I finally have a complete set of these. Earthrise Generation 1 Seekers. Now for comparison. Here he is with the other member of the team. It's Starscream. So yeah, we got the complete Generation 1 Seekers with Starscream, Thundercracker, and Skywarp. And one last jet mode comparison before we transform these. Here he is with the other members of the Seeker Armada from Generation 2. Ramjet, Thrust, and... Don't forget about Dirge. So we finally got a complete set of Transformers. Generation 1 and Generation 2 Seekers. And I'm so glad to finally have these in my collection. But that's all there is to say for comparisons. Let's get down to the transformation. Shall we? Let's. In the same transformation as Starscream, so let's transform Skywarp. We're going to disconnect his guns, like so, the purple guns, which is nice. His purple null rays. Disconnect this section. Flip this up. Disconnect this. And Skywarp is coming along real nicely. We'll focus on the leg section. Fold down the feet. Like so. Disconnect this. Fold it down. Fold down to form the legs. And there we got the legs all done. Disconnect this section here. Fold out the arms. Accordion this outwards so you get the arms all transformed. Here we got one arm done. One more arm to do. Second verse, just like the first. We're going to try to fold these out. It's mine as a so he's a bit tight and a bit fussy. Uh, 
I'm gonna have to really get fussy with this guy. Come on, Skywarp, stop giving me trouble. Now I got it. He was bit being a bit stubborn with that joint. So second verse, just like the first. A lot more fussing with this figure than I thought, huh? Now we're going to do the nose cone, which is just simple. You just rotate the nose cone around, fold it into the body like so, flip down like so to reveal his head. And fold this in to form the chest. If I can get it to work without it fussing with me. And there we got Skywar transformed into his robot mode. Looking very, very Generation 1 themed Skywarp. So there's Skywarp in his robot mode. And he looks nice. Now we're going to transform Thundercracker into his robot mode, which is just the same as Skywarp's here. Disconnect the null rays. Flip up the panel. Flip down those panels to re free the legs up from transformation. Fold down the feet. Fold this down to form the legs. Fold the tail wings down and there we got the legs done fold that down to to reveal the arms fold out rotate down like so accordion them down second verse just like the first Cordian these arms outwards. Man, I got some stubborn arms with these, don't I? I was able to transform them so many times, but stubborn arms symptoms, huh? And put the nose cone like that. Fold it down to reveal the head. Connect his null rays. like so, into the ports. And there we got S Skywarp and Thundercracker in their robot modes. And they look pretty cool for G1 style jets. That's all the, the articulation for these figures are the same as the other figures. Bend at the knee, elbow bend, which is nice. They put a lot of detail into these figures, especially a lot of details. You can get some good articulation out of them because they're the same articulation. But now we're going to get down to robot mode comparison. So we're going to transform the other bots into their robot modes for comparison. Sorry this review is being longer than I'm used to, but this, these figures are so good looking I had to transform them into jet modes to show them off with the other jets for these G1 style jets and I'm so glad to have Earthrise, Thundercracker and Skywarp for my personal seeker collection I've been wanting them since they first came out, and I was like, wanting them for a long time, but I finally got them for my personal collection, and I'm so happy to have them here on my channel. So, they'll look nice on my shelf, and they'll be good looking to display on my shelf. And there we got the Seeker. Brothers, all ready to go for battle. 
the Seeker Generation 1 Brothers. But now I'm going to do a comparison with my original Universe Classics Seekers. We're going to transform them off camera because they're a bit different than these ones are. And I never got the Earthrise ones with the two-pack of Ramjet Thrust and Dirge because they were very much too pricey and I didn't want to pay huge bucks for these figures. So I was happy to have the Universe Classic versions. And there we got Universe Classics Ramjet with the other Seekers. Now I got to transform Thrust off camera, since I'm very good with these transformations because I've had these figures like for a very long time. I don't have the original Universe Classics, Starscream, Thundercracker, and Skywarp. But I do have these, these Generation 2 style Seekers, which is nice. And there's Thrust next to Thundercracker, Skywarp, and Starscream. Sorry, there was a lot of fussing with transforming these guys, but they were being a bit stubborn today. So, yeah. A lot of stubborn transformations with these figures today. But there we got the complete Generation 1 and Generation 2 Transformers Autobot Seekers. Yep. The Earthrise Seekers, as of the year they came out in, they came out in 2020 through 2021. And I'm so glad to have these for my collection. If you want a set of Seekers of your own, I'd recommend you pick these guys up. They are worth the money, if you can find them for a good price. And I am so glad to have them for my Generation 1 collection. And Generation 2 collection. So yeah, these guys are worth the money. And that's all there is to say for this video. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.